you, all of you. It's always a pleasure to be in London. It's even a greater pleasure to be with the Iranian community. We, we are now closing a circle of six wide meetings around the Western free world, showing the Iranian diaspora to be in solidarity with the Iranian people that is fighting for freedom in Iran. 28th of July, we are remembering 10 years, 10 years of the first massacre of Ashraf. And uh, in memory of the victims of this massacre and of the massacres that unfortunately unfolded in Ashraf, not two years afterwards, in 2011, in April 2011, in the 1st of September 2013, the worst of them all, and all of those massacres that took place in liberty afterwards, I would like to pray my homage to these heroes that fell and to these heroes that were wounded, some of them for life, disabled for life, and to express to the relatives and to the freedom-loving people in Iran all my condolences. Because we have to think about them, but we have as well to think about the present, about the ways to confront this Iranian regime that is a monster for the Iranian people, for its neighbors, and for the international community. To confront the sea of lies that we have been seeing all the time thrown at the Iranian opposition. In the last few days, we have seen everything. We have seen newspapers to make the most fantastic and absolutely ludicrous accusations on the PMOI. We have been seeing accounts, fabricated accounts, with fabricated trips, fabricated diplomatic encounters. We have seen the head of the English lobby for the mullahs editing a book saying, among various other things that, well, we should praise the theocracy because isn't Iran the country of Darius the Great that set the first human rights charter? This is absolutely preposterous. It's like saying that we should celebrate Hitler because he came from the country of Kant or Schiller. This is something that we can never cope with, because they want to steal the past of the Iranian people. That's what they are aiming at. And we have to be clear that the, the past of the Iranian people, Cyrus the Great, of course, as well as Satar Khan and many others in the constitutional movement, as Mossadegh in the nationalist movement in the 50s, as, of course, Masoud Rajavi. They are, they are your heritage. And you are going to make an Iran that is absolutely in line with these glories of the past. You are going to do it after putting the mullahs away, after getting rid of this black period of your history. You will do it. I am certain, absolutely certain for this. Thank you very much. Go ahead. The future is yours.